Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to another episode of Wolf Quest 3. In the last episode, we experienced our very first dream in the game with Daisy, though it turned out to be a little bit of an ominous message for her. It started off pleasantly enough with bunnies frolicking through the fields, and that's why we decided to catch this bunny at our feet. We're hoping that maybe this is going to be the key. Daisy thinks at least this is going to be her way to get the information she's seeking. She's taking this rabbit as something of a trade-off. If she manages to find the wolf pack today, she's going to use this as a way to get some answers about her missing family. And is that actually another bunny over there? Oh, Daisy. Two bunnies? Do you think maybe you could catch this one too? If you go across the water. There we go. I don't think it even noticed you. That was awfully lucky for you considering all that splashing that you did. Now we have two bunnies to bring to the wolf pack. I guess technically we should probably eat one since we can't carry them both in our mouth. Maybe the one for us will be some extra good luck today. So go ahead and tuck into that meal, Daisy. It looks like you're getting a little bit hungry anyways after doing all of that exploring the day before. This should give you the energy you need to finish your mission. Now aside from the bunnies, the dream also gave her some rather ominous messages too. It changed pretty quickly into something of a nightmare for her. Of pups crying in the rain of an entire wolf pack family running away from flames as all of their babies were scooped up into the sky by birds. So I think that this was something of a repressed memory for her. You guys had a lot of great ideas for stories that could go along with the dream too. Things from actual omens for Daisy to backstories about the wolf pack that we're in right now. But I think we're going to call it a memory for her, and this new information has her more restless than ever. So we're about knee deep in pack territory now, Daisy. I think it's about time that you find your answers. Let's just take a quick peek at the map again, just to make sure that we're traveling in the right direction. Yeah, we're kind of right on the cusp of their territory, so we should be passing some sort of patrol soon, especially since it's so close to where the battles are taking place. It's one of their stronger tiles too, so we know that plenty of pack members should be around here. In fact, if we go just a little bit deeper, that's probably where most of the creatures are going to be. Maybe we'll even find the leader, and there's no one better to ask for information about the surrounding packs. Ideally, Daisy might even run into one of her siblings out here inside one of these packs. We don't really know what happened to Dandelion or Buzz. I would imagine that Buzz is probably out there somewhere trying to take down Moose of his own, but surely at some point he's going to need to settle down with the wolf pack too. If he decided to branch away from the hive, then I could definitely see him roaming around like this maybe drifting from pack to pack to find his favorite place to stay. And you know what, Daisy? We should probably do a little bit of sniffing around, too. It looks like there's some foxes on the breeze, as well as a wolf pack. Oh, the junction wolf pack. Wait a second. That doesn't say that it's a territory marker this time. Oh, I wonder if that means that we're actually getting close to the wolf pack itself then. Maybe other wolves roaming around here. Interesting, it almost seems like they might be chasing out one of those foxes too. Oh, Daisy. I hope you haven't brought the foxes in here with all these bunny carcasses. That's probably not a good way to get on their good side, huh? Maybe the bunnies were a trap all along. Do you see anything out there though? You must be getting super close. It looks like the terrain is changing too. Now we have all these trees around us, so it's going to be a little bit harder to spot anybody out there. Why don't you sniff around again just to make sure? Any trucks on the ground yet? I think I might actually see some bunny tracks down there. Okay, so the bunnies are still leading you in the right direction. Yeah, there's definitely been a rabbit around here pretty recently. Five minutes ago. Oh, that might actually... Oh, is that that fox? Oh, I think we found the fox for them. Maybe we could chase the fox toward them? Do you think they would appreciate that? Come on, Daisy. Let's run the fox off this way, okay? Yeah, you run straight toward the pack. Then at least they can take care of it before it gets to their food. Mm, oh, no, this fox is way too smart for that. Do you think that means the wolf pack is right here? I mean, it was almost like it was being blocked by a barrier. Daisy, could you do a little bit of sniffing again? Alright, there's the fox prince. Yeah, I wonder if the wolves are maybe just around the corner. 
just around the bend. Ooh, there's male coyotes up here too. Oh no, Daisy's arch enemy. If she sees another coyote, she is going to give chase. Even if there are wolves around here, I don't think she could resist. Oh, did that say that there was a mule over here too? Let's see, is that a mule deer maybe? Yeah, mule deer wandering through the forest as well. Oh. Wolf pack prince. Oh my gosh, we are close. Stranger wolf territory. You are now entering the territory of a stranger wolf pack. Okay, I think this is what it said before. Sooner or later, the pack will find you while patrolling their territory. So does that mean that we've actually found the wolves? Daisy, do you see them? Hello? Oh, jeez. Yep, there is a definitely a wolf around here. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see you in our smelling vision. Hello. Who are we dealing with at the moment? It looks like it's only one wolf. Well, you know, a good way to play this would probably be to use our emotes. A submissive tail wag? Yeah, maybe something like that. Do you think that would work? A little submissive tail wag to show that we're no threat? I can't really tell if it's working. She's giving a very, very slow tail wag. I'd like to get a little bit closer, though. I have some food for you. Something to trade in exchange for information. Any chance you've heard of a pack called the Hive? Oh, look at that. They're actually laying down. Can we tell if it's a male or a female? I don't think that hostility bar, the fight bar is going up any higher, so we might actually be okay. Let's try a different emote, maybe. Let's see, anything with the ears? No, we can't really seem to do anything with this bunny in our mouth. I guess she's a little bit too distracted. Oh, jeez. And he is on the move. Oh, do you think he's going to alert the rest of the pack? Should we tail him? Maybe he's bringing us back to his pack. I wonder if he knows somebody who maybe has some more information for us. We did mention the hive, and that seemed to spur him into action. So let's see if we can find any other wolves around here. Did something just flash? I can't tell if that was a glitch or if it's like thundering and lightning now. Oh, Daisy, don't even tell me that your dream is coming true. That's still our wolf, right? Alright, let's keep following him. Oh, it's actually a male. Okay. The Junction male one? Does that mean that he's actually a dispersal wolf? No, probably not. He's one of the pack members, I think. He's wandering pretty far, though. Are you sure you're taking us in the right direction? Daisy's getting a little bit nervous. Ooh, and his tail is very, very high. Does that mean that he's going to whip around and attack us? I wonder if he found something. He's going toward the trees. Ooh, he is not looking too happy anymore. Did he bring us out here just to attack us? That's awfully suspicious. I wonder if he'll come over here if we place the bunny down. Oh no, I just realized that Daisy's getting way overtired. Her stamina's going down now? That means she's going to have to take a nap here, especially if she's going to have to run away from any enemy wolves anytime soon. The only problem is, this is still their territory. And look at that ominous sky overhead. Is that the dark of night, or are those actually storm clouds? That looks very, very menacing, Daisy. The wolf is watching you too. Do you think maybe if we place your rabbit kill over here, he would take it back to his pack? We'll come on over here. We'll curl up for a nice nap right underneath the tree. You can't sleep while you're fighting. Daisy, you didn't tell me you were fighting with this wolf. Okay. I think that means we should probably go. It definitely seems like he almost took us out here to like stand off with us or something. Is this their battleground? Maybe he didn't want to fight us in the trees. Alright, so what was his name again? Let's see. There's a territorial marking around here too, but that's not what I'm looking for. I think it was like a male number one. That must mean that he's the leader, huh? He has no interest in telling you anything that he knows. I guess you didn't really get his trust then. I still want to leave him the bunny, though. Like, if nothing else, maybe just dropping the bunny over here will give him reason to trust us. Here you go, mister. 
we're gonna leave this hair carcass over here for you. It seems to me that the wolf packs are fighting over hunting territory, the places where it's easiest for them to get their meals. Maybe not necessarily the bunnies that Daisy saw, but that must be where the prey flourishes. Hello? Ooh. Who's howling? Was that you? Ooh. No, 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 no. I swear we're leaving. I swear. I understand that you don't want to give us any information. Ooh. Oh, do not chase Daisy out right now. I don't think we can handle that. We barely have any stamina. All right, Daisy, let's make sure that we're going in the right direction. Pull up your map again. Oh, we have to get out of here so fast. I think maybe he's howling to increase his territory around here, isn't he? It seems like that really brained up that tile. There's something straight ahead of us, too. Is that another wolf? Oh my gosh, it might be. It's either a wolf or a cougar. Oh, it's a coyote? Oh, Daisy, of all the times, she's so tired she can barely stumble away. Oh, I wonder if maybe that wolf had noticed the coyotes in his territory then. Maybe it wasn't Daisy. Maybe the coyotes were coming to try to steal that bunny, actually. Oh, Daisy, she can't help it. She's still trying her hardest to catch up to these coyotes, even though she can hardly run. I wish we had, like, a stream around here or something. Maybe if we go off in this direction. I wonder if that would help give her a little bit of energy back. To be honest, I think she's going to have to find a quick place to hole up over here somewhere. I don't think she's going to be able to work her way out of the territory. So we should be far enough away now? Let's go ahead and curl up in the trees. Maybe the wolf pack won't notice you. Maybe they'll think that you've already left. Let's have you come in over here behind the rock. Sniff around real quick just to make sure. Yeah, the territory marking is still over there. Oh, he is making sure that you are not going to step foot inside his territory again. I don't think he took too fondly to your questions. I wonder if maybe that wolf had some bad experiences with the hive in the past. I mean, I don't see Bumble causing any problems for other wolf packs, really. He was just kind of doing his own thing. Oh, Daisy, you didn't sleep much? Oh my gosh. Oh, they found you, Daisy. Oh, Daisy, try to wriggle free. She can't turn around to bite him. Oh my gosh, you poor thing. Come on, just a quick snap behind you or something just to get him away. There you go. Oh, my heart. Oh, run, Daisy, run for your life. Oh my gosh, thank goodness we got a little bit of sleep. Like, it's not much. Daisy is still really, really tired. But at least she's able to get away from him. It's the fourth male of the pack? 4M that said? Okay. Did he give up the chase? Is he still coming? I think he may have stopped chasing us, so that was just some sort of warning. Oh no, he's still coming. Daisy, keep running. Keep running until you are out of their territory. You know, it almost makes me wonder. That was a very, very dark wolf. Definitely not one that Daisy's related to. It wouldn't be one of her siblings. It wouldn't be Buzz, it wouldn't be Dandelion. But I wonder if it was actually one of her, like, fake siblings, you know? One of the siblings from that dark wolf pack who stole her originally. That would make sense. That would explain why that wolf was so eager to chase her away. If he found out that she was sniffing around for answers about her supposed true family. Maybe it was even the sibling that initially told her about this. Oh, okay, there's a coyote down there. You know, I've had a pretty rough day. Why don't you get on out of here so I can eat this elk carcass, okay? Is this... This isn't one of the elk carcasses that we caught, right? No, this would be far too far away, which means it's probably this pack's carcass. Oh my gosh, Daisy. You just <gasps> can't seem to catch a break. Oh, Daisy. Okay, now is not the time to go after any cougars. You seriously need to find a good place to rest. You need to find a good place to hide, actually. Let's go into your smelling vision for a moment. Just to see if there's a safe place out here somewhere. You are going in the right direction, right? 
Daisy. Oh, Daisy, what am I going to do with you? You were so panicked by that wolf that you actually got completely turned around, and now you are going straight into the heart of their land instead. We're back to where we started, too. Well, I mean, you might as well catch that bunny. You might as well run with a bunny while you're at it. Maybe this will be your good luck talisman. And if we see another one of those enemy wolves, then we'll just drop it at their feet. But yeah, like I was saying before, I'm wondering if that dark wolf that we saw was part of her fake family. It wasn't the same leader that we saw originally, so it was somebody new coming by to take care of her for good. Perhaps to try to silence her once and for all. Daisy, you poor thing, you can barely stumble through these woods anymore. It's all you can do just to keep yourself on your feet. Let's see if maybe we're getting closer to the edge. Oh, there we go. We're almost out of this pack's territory now. Come on, Daisy. Let's keep running in this direction. Keep running south, and eventually you're going to work your way out of this territory. Then we can collapse on the ground as soon as we're safe. So yeah, if we ignore that warning and we sleep inside wolf territory, I guess that's the best way for us to get the pack's attention. I mean, it makes sense. It's not really polite, is it, Daisy? Sleeping in some stranger's bed. One thing's for sure, though. After all of this is said and done, I don't think Daisy is going to be sniffing around the junction pack anytime soon. If it's true that this is where her fake siblings decided to call home, then she wants nothing to do with it anymore. I think we might be safe now. I think this is a good area to rest. I mean, at this point, I don't think she cares where she falls asleep. Let's just have her place down her bunny over here and then immediately curl up for the longest of naps. Oh no, it's still Stranger Pack territory? Oh no, Daisy. It hardly looks like it's claimed either. I guess we have to veer off in this direction instead. Oh, I wonder if that means that this Wapiti Pack has actually taken a little bit of control here. Daisy, you have really gotten yourself into some sore situation. Let's let the game load in. And then I guess we'll go off this way until we find a safe space. There we go. Now it's definitely not claimed. All right, Daisy. Plop down that meat again. And now you can actually curl up for some sleep. We better not have any interruptions this time because Daisy needs some serious rest. She's going to have to sleep for days until she's ready to go exploring again. I'm keeping an eye out for you too, Daisy, so don't worry. We're going to make sure that nobody creeps up on you. Though Daisy did wake up pretty fast when that other wolf was after her, so maybe she's a little bit more alert than we are. Oh, dispersal wolves ahead? One or more dispersal wolves are just ahead. They are also looking for a mate. Show your interest by play bowing, wagging your tail, and other friendly actions. Press the E key to open the emotes panel. Ready? I mean, I guess so. But where did they come from? Did they follow you from the other pack? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, look how adorable he is. Did that say he was from the Hoodoo pack? His diversity is only two stars, so I mean, it's probably not the best one for us to settle down with, I must say. But hello. You are awfully sweet. Oh geez, Daisy. Don't go chasing after him. She must be a little bit skittish. Well, not skittish. She's a little bit traumatized after being chased by the other wolf pack. She's not taking any chances anymore. He looks so similar to us, though. Do you think there's any possibility that maybe he's from our family? Does he have scars all over him? Oh my gosh, what have you gotten yourself into? Are you our father? Is this a Bumble? I mean, I know he was clumsy, but my goodness. Yeah, you know, this can't possibly be Bumble. And I don't think that it would end up being one of her siblings either, because it does say that he's four years old. I kind of peg Daisy as being a little bit younger than that. <gasps> oh my gosh. Mr. Male Wolf? Is that your friend? Are we, like, playing shelter right now or something? Hello? A grizzly cub. Oh, no, 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 no. That usually means that the mama's nearby. Oh, my goodness. Wait. Another one? Oh. Okay. I see the mama bear. Let's go this way, boys. Let's go over here, okay? Gotta keep our distance from the bear family, you know? 
Now wait a second. Where did that shadow go? It said that he was from the Wapiti Pack? Hello? Oh no, did he disappear? Where did you go, sir? You look so pretty. Oh, no, that's just the Hoodoo Pack. Gosh, I'm not sure what happened to him. He just came out of nowhere and then he disappeared just as quickly. Well, if he was from the Wapiti Pack, then I hope he's not bringing this information back to his leader. The last thing Daisy needs is for another wolf to be on her tail. But you know, even though I don't think this wolf is really mate material, we should probably at least introduce ourselves, right? So let's bring up our emote panel here. Okay, so now we have things specifically for courtship. We can growl at him, we can use the T2 tail option, we can roll on our backs, we can grin, play bow, confident tail wag, avert our gaze, and airplane ears. Alright, well, since I said before that I think Daisy's a little bit traumatized after that experience, maybe some airplane ears would actually be a good way to show that. So if we bring up our panel again, hello? Is that that shadow wolf? <gasps> Oh my gosh! You just chased our friend away! Who the heck are you? What on earth is this? Oh, Daisy, not again! Oh, run as fast as you can! Thank goodness she has a little bit more energy this time. That wolf must have been from the wolf pack, huh? Oh, I wonder if that shadow did report back to his family. Oh, Daisy, you truly can't catch a break. You had finally met somebody who you could possibly be friends with. And now you're already being chased out of the territory again. Look at that, and now they're actually claiming this tile. Oh, Daisy, what am I going to do with you? Shall we ride off into the sunset together? As long as this is actually going to take us away from the enemy pack, at least. Let's just check. Yeah, that should take us toward the middle of the territory. So let's go into the sunset. Oh my gosh. Daisy, how many times are you going to be chased by wolf packs today? Go, go, go. Oh, this is definitely not your family, huh? It looks like that wolf actually has a radio collar. Did he stop chasing you? I'm not sure. It kind of looks like we're veering a bit closer into their territory now. Let's keep going toward the east. Keep going toward that sun. The sun will lead you home, Daisy. They're still howling at her heels, too, even though she's far beyond the reaches of their territory now. It seems like they're still not satisfied. They must be marking their borders. They must be trying to keep it strong. You know, there's always the possibility that they could have smelled the scent of the other pack on our farm. Since she did spend so much time tussling around with those wolves, they probably assumed that she was like a spy from their pack or something. So, I can understand why they were a little bit wary of you, Daisy. But we're still going to have to find a place far, far away from them to hole up and rest for the night. You're still not completely healed. I only wish that we could have learned a little bit more about that hoodoo wolf. The fact that they did look so similar to our family makes me think there must have been some connection there. Even if they're not one of our siblings, even if they're not our father himself. I wonder if he knew a bit of information about them if he could have pointed us in the right direction, at least. Now we'll never know because that pack chased him away. The poor thing, he looks so scarred and beaten, too. They had probably been chasing him for ages, and he thought he finally found a friendly face in Daisy. Maybe we'll see him again, though. Daisy must be starting to realize that it would be nice to travel around with a partner, somebody to actually watch her pack in these situations. So we'll see what we can discover in the next episode. Maybe we'll even have her go back toward the Wapiti territory, just to see if she can find the mysterious shadow again. But for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys!